Hello Internet, I just finished up creating this button hover animation and recorded the entire process for you to follow along. Enjoy the video and see you inside the IDE. Hello and welcome to episode 3 of me learning frame emotion. Today we've got a button animation hover from Oliver LaRose who is another YouTuber who I follow and really enjoy his videos. We're going to be making this about us hover animation. That's our inspiration for this video and let's get started. First thing I want to do is import inter from Google Fonts. We'll make a const inter equals inter subsets Latin. So that will bring us the inter font, class name, inter dot class name. This div will hold the font. We're going to need another div for the actual button. I'll give it a class name dials, which is our CSS file button. Maybe we'll call it button container. Then what we will have is the little circle. I'll make a div for that with the class name circle. We will have the title title. This will have a P tag for about us. We will also have the icon from hero icons. So what I like to do is come here, type in arrow. We want a right arrow. Here we go. Arrow right. Arrow right. Arrow right icon. We'll put it here for now. I'm going to put a class name on this as well and call it styles.icon. Now that we've got the structure all set up, we're going to move on to the styling. Icon will have a width 16 pixel height for the title, font size of 16 pixels. I want a font weight 500, letter spacing negative 0.5, just so it's a bit closer. Button container, I want to have a display flex. Align item center, justify content center. Stroke width of two. Let's do circle. So I want a width, color, background, color, black. I think I should use hex. Border, radius of 50%, makes a circle. I think I want to apply some styling here now. Background, color, white. Use hex. Border, radius. 24 pixels, let's go with that. Padding, 12 pixels, 36 pixels, pretty good. Now it comes down to how we want everything to interact. The button container is gonna be our reference. This will be position relative. Okay, these two parts are gonna be position absolute. They're gonna move around in relation. Position absolute. It'll be weird for a little bit. I think I need to wrap the icon in another div because this will be a motion div eventually go icon container it will make the icon container the moving thing so this will be position like that I need to make this display flat align center justify content center icon end position will be right 24 pixels maybe a little bit more that'll be the end position for the circle it will be the opposite so it'll be left 22 pixels this is the start position i don't think i need this one the icon is going to start white or actually it's always going to be white no use hex always going to be white because the circle will fill up and then the white thing will show up over the top I'm going to start animating now. It's going to be on hover. We should have a constant is hover. Set is hover. Resume state false. What is going to set this? The button container. On mouse enter. Set is hover to true. On mouse leave. Set is hover to false. When we enter is hover is true. When we exit is hover is false. Using that we can now animate components. We need to make these a motion div. Motion div is an import from frame emotion circle is a motion div because that will animate will title animate yes i think title will animate icon container would definitely animate the circle will grow animate scale is hover a scale will be i don't know let's do something ridiculous and if not it'll be one Okay, well, first thing I need to do on the button container, we'll go overflow clip. overflow clip. So now it should fill up. It's a bit fast, 40. It doesn't fill it, let's 45. And it's a bit jumpy. We're gonna add transition, ease, ease in. That's better. I think it could be a bit faster. 0.2. I think it's cool. We'll have background color. 
is hollow, it will be 0a, 00c1. If not, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Switches color. I can see that the about us has to be above. Z index has to be 1. So now it's above. On the original, it moves across. So we did have to add an animate here. It'll be x is hover will be negative 8. And 8 hover will be is hover 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Looking pretty good. The last thing is the icon. We need to animate this. We also want to move it. X, I think we only want to move it. Is hover, we want it at an end position, which is zero. If not, we want it off the screen, 24. That looks pretty good to me. But the cursor is like this weird thing. So on the button container, we'll have the cursor pointer. And I think that'll cover us. There we go. There's the button recreated from Oliver LaRose. I'll link his channel in the description because he has some amazing videos. I think it looks pretty close. Looks really good to me. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.